Welcome to Mr. Mom's World Speaks, where we cover topics like food, friends, fun, family, and fur, two-legged or otherwise. Should I do that again? No. Are you sure? No, that was awesome. Oh. Well, then let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Food, family, friends, fun, and fur. Vitamin to Vigimit. <laughs> Sorry. I, we've got to do that. Right? We've got to do that. <laughs> I have Russell on the program today, ladies and gentlemen. Russell? So, It's kind of me. a switch. What is? Me being on this side of the chair. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. No, oh, I've switched a long time okay. ago. Okay. <laughs> I switched glasses from the, the last episode. Anyone notice? These are dollar store glasses. Well, it's, $5. it's only four months later. I don't think they're going to remember your glasses. Well, but you know, when you're watching computer, you can go back at any moment. Oh, and it's true, like true yesterday. That. Yeah. Quick story. Yeah. Breaking Bad. Have you seen it? Yeah. Okay. I watched Breaking Bad like six years after it finished. And there was an, like at the end of one of the seasons, there was a cliffhanger that was so major. Remember where Hank's sitting on the toilet and he's reading the Walter White book? Anyway, in real time when people were watching it, they had to wait, I think, like a year before they saw the next episode. Right. And we got to boom. You were there in 30 seconds. Right there. I'm like, next. It was, it was amazing. It's, it's wonderful. So make sure you watch all your series like that. Anything that's on TV, just oh, wait. Oh, power wait. watch them. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Yeah. Speaking of that. How much Netflix have you watched in the last eight months? Mm, none. We've been pretty really? busy. Yeah. No. Oh, sorry. I guess I can't. Some say Some of the us same. work for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us can't. Right. Mm. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I know. Well, remember the show we did here? We did do that a great a, show. It was an amazing show. It was in December. It was December, and it was kind of disastrous to begin with. But mm. but we. Poor Joe. Yeah, everything went wrong. Oh my God! Remember the lights? Yes, the sound. The power. Him spilling the something on the computer. Breaking. I know he knocked over water all over his computer. All the sound and the lights went out. So like, we should in the talk quick, of the show. We should talk quickly about what we're talking about. So we're yeah. sitting. Our studio is uh, today in our uh, lovely uh, heritage hall called the East Delta Hall. So beautiful. It is beautiful. Can we cut and show this in, during the show? Okay, good. And so um, in in uh, in in doing that, we, uh, our first year here, we had Bonnie open up for us at Christmas. Christmas. It was yeah, a Christmas, Christmas show. show. Uh, our first sold out show. Uh, Bonnie does uh, celebrity impostors. Impersonations. impersonations. <laughs> I want to say impostors. Um, but, but so she does well, well over 30 characters, right? Not, not in one show. I do about 21 in yeah. one show. But that's enough. That's, that was more than that. So the crowd loved it. Um, but yeah, that's what we do here. And, and, yeah. uh, and you were a part of that and, and going to be a part of it again once we get open. A hundred percent. I yeah. can't wait because yeah. that was, that was an amazing show. It was. I mean, this place is so beautiful. I had stairs built for you. Oh, you did? Oh, I I'd did. Stairs. I built was, stairs I was, for you. I was jumping the stage in heels and I had shin splints the next day. Well, no, let's, I, didn't. I, I didn't carry physically me off. build them. No, didn't you carry me off once? No, I got the chair for you. Oh, well, that was yeah. close enough. I know. <laughs> You shouldn't be able to. I've got about eight pounds of COVID weight on me. I'm over 150. Uh -oh. So, uh, that bad. COVID, right? Oh, my gosh. Right? Everybody. Everybody. Everybody's down with COVID. Yeah. It's... But, uh, hmm, yeah. So, what do you like? I, you can't do your shows here. No. Nope. Our shows. No. Nope. But, um, what are you able to continue doing? Well, so we pivoted pretty quick. Uh, I think we briefly touched on it the last show. So, so you know, we, we were totally shut down for a while because of the catering. We couldn't do catering. Uh, then they uh, they they lightened, if you will, the restrictions. the um, restrictions mm -hmm. on them, and so we could start doing smaller events. We could still cater out, so we've done several uh, jobs outside of the hall, mm -hmm. um, but we've really bumped up our frozen. We started a couple new programs, uh, the mini uh, <coughs> Mr. Mum's mini me mobile meals. Say that. 20 times fast. Mr. Mama's Mini Mobile Meals. Wow. Holy, look at you. Jeez. I think you were just tired. Um, <laughs> I think I've had too much sugar. The right? same tea as last time. Amazing. Chai with about six cups of sugar. It's fantastic. <laughs> and so, so that that particular program is doing well for us. We also, our Frozen is doing really well. We, we now do a lot more deliveries than we did. Mm. Um, so COVID, although it slowed us down and it certainly didn't take me to the Bahamas or to Mexico mm. where I'd like to be vacationing, mm -hmm. 
Um, it's kept us alive. It's, um, we, we've, we have been very lucky not to take any of those government bailout things. Oh, wow. and, um, and we kept people working. In fact, we hired staff. So Holy. yeah, so we did, we've done okay, it's right? Amazing. Well, it's not amazing. I haven't well, taken a wage. My partner hasn't taken a wage, oh. but <laughs> that's all good. My feelings are going all over the place here. I'm like, good for you. Oh, no. no. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, it's like being a parent. Just saying. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so speaking of parents, okay, yes. how many kids are in the house at the moment? Seven. Seven. We have seven Ages. kids. Oh, in the house, uh, a 19-year-old, a 22-year-old, uh, two 15-year-olds, a seven-year, no, eight-year-old, and a nine-year-old. And are they getting along okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my, yeah, COVID, again, COVID really, you know, teenagers, they're, they're closet dwellers anyways. Mm -hmm. So cave dwellers. Uh, so we don't see three of four of them for the longest periods of time, yeah, right? That's, that's true, right? Yeah. And, and no, literally speaking, closet dwellers, my sister just gave her daughter her own room. Oh. Except there wasn't a room in the house. There right. was a closet. Oh, oh. <laughs> It was where the cat would go and do its business. Yeah. So they renovated it and they yeah. made it look amazing. And she is just so happy. Very she has cool. like her bed yeah. and a desk yeah. and some shelves. And that's you've got all to they make need. use of. The, and that she's just like my space. Yeah. That's and, what she but needs. she's mad, like, she doesn't have a door that you can slam. Yeah. She's mad about uh -huh. that. Right? She can't be like, <laughs> bam. Yeah, she'll find these, something else. It's to those slam. doors you have to pull out. Oh, yeah. You have to do the this. slide ones. Yeah. 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 But I guess she could open it Pocket really quickly. She'd be like, What's going on? You oh, know. Yeah. Anyways, but uh, she's pretty happy. Well, how old is she? 15. Oh, 15. She'll find something to throw. I'm saying. Oh, trust me. My sister, every other day, she's like, you drive me crazy. Right. Yeah. I know. I'm yeah. like, I get it. I don't have children, but I but get it. But you got it. Do you love the it. dogs now. I do. And I, I love them. They're foster fails. Yeah. yeah. Actually, the first one wasn't really a foster fail. It's a long story. It doesn't matter. One of them is like this big. I know. And the other and they, one is this big. You would think that they grew up together. I know. And, and just they have so the same cute. floppy ear. One ear's like this, and one ear on each of them exactly the same ear. It's the cutest thing. And then they sleep together, just they all do, curled up. Yeah, yeah. They play. They, they you fight. couldn't have separated them. No, it was I meant to be. But no, I didn't it was want meant to. to be. I know. Yeah. yeah and I agree. that foster pup, Melly, yeah. that we kept, she actually got adopted out for three weeks oh. and got returned. Oh. And I hoped for that. When she got adopted out, I said, I kept, oh, I, I felt see? guilty because I was see? like, oh, it doesn't work out. And I spoke with a woman and I, I didn't think it was going to work out because she was having problems with this or that. And, and then it just happened. So hmm. I was pretty happy about that. So yeah, COVID for me has been a great time to... Now you, you're, uh, you're obviously an entertainer, but uh, yes. so what has that done for you? What, COVID? Yeah. It's wiped me clean, right? Wipe you, yeah. I'm out. I'm like, it's gone. No, I've actually done quite a few virtual things. Yes, I saw that. So I, I've, and I started impersonating Dr. Bonnie Henry. Oh, we're uh, going to do a show on Dr. Bonnie Henry. Oh, we should totally. We do. Oh, that would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I normally do very glamorous characters. Like yes, Cher, Cher, Dolly Parton. Yep. You know, Jeff Rivers, you know, whoever. I mean, just... Mm -hmm. Fun, outrageous characters, and uh, but then I thought, hmm, this might be fun if I do Bonnie Henry, just because everyone in BC knows her. We see her every day, right? And let's try to bring a little bit of humor to dark time. And she's a, she is now a worldwide yeah, provincial recognized. celebrity. Uh -huh. Really, I mean, you know, she probably doesn't consider herself that, but um, I'd love to. I would love to chat with her, yeah. other than. Than, than the character yeah, that we're going to see. Absolutely, because I wouldn't, as a character, <laughs> wouldn't be able to say much right? about really what's going on. But I think um, she's, I think she is a brilliant woman. Um, I, th I love her because she, she just so has calm. Heart. She just has this yes gentleness. She's like everyone's mom or something, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. She just makes you feel safe. Yeah, true, true. That. <laughs> and she cares. Yeah, totally. Uh, good. I remember the first, uh, the first time I saw her was that time where she was breaking up with tears. And I thought, wow, this woman really cares. Mm -hmm. And I don't get that much yeah. from anyone, yeah. you know, in, in politics on TV. I just don't get the feeling that they really care. Actually, I did feel that. I remember seeing Obama talk once about the Sandy right. Hook. And, and he was choking up. And I was like, oh, I love that. Yes. You know, don't be afraid to Don't get emotions. me hooked on Obama because, I know. hello, I if Michelle too. wasn't in the picture, <laughs> mm, yummy. That's <laughs> so a sweet funny. slice of bread. You know what I'm trying to say mm. there, girl? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I do. Uh -huh. This is funny. So I'm taking this online solo writing workshop yep. because I thought, I want to sort of get inspired maybe to do something other than my usual show. Yeah. 
and I'm taking it online with this woman called Lauren Weedman. She's hilarious. She does a lot of guest star roles, and she, she's um, done tons of one-woman shows on her own. Very, very funny woman. Anyway, so one of the people taking the class told the story where he, he, was, in the, he was in the Air Force, yeah. and he, they placed him to be a flight attendant, which he loved. Right. And this one day, he was given this assignment. It was his last assignment before he retired after, I think, 20 years. He's still, he's only like 40 years old. Anyways, it was Michelle Obama, and nobody told him it was Michelle Obama, and he loves her. Right. So I, I forget what it's called, but usually you go and you get sort of briefed on what's going to happen, but you don't always have to do that. So he decided not to do it. And if he had gone, he would have been informed about what's happening, and it's Michelle Obama, and this is what we have to do. So he shows up to work, and he's just like freaking out that it's Michelle Obama. And <laughs> Anyway, so at the briefing, nobody, they were telling them no one's allowed to get autographs. Well, he wasn't there, so he asked for his autograph, and he's the only one who got it because... Because he didn't know? Because he didn't know, yeah. And See? he said that he curtsied like this, as if he was like wearing a dress. Like royalty? Oh. And then it was really cute. It was her 50th birthday, apparently. Yeah. And anyway, and she curtsied back to him, and it was like the greatest thing that ever happened to him in his life. It was cute. Right? Yeah. See, I think That's I'd be like neat. that with Oprah. Oh, she was going to Oprah's. I think I'd... She was flying there for see, her 50th birthday. I think I'd pee they myself type. right there. <laughs> Honestly, I'd wet myself. I might wet myself with a six cup well, of tea. Well, quit drink. I, I was just going to say, quit <laughs> drinking the damn tea. <laughs> so good. I need a straw. Mm -hmm. Anyways, no, I love yes. Oprah too. Yeah, oh yeah. I, yeah. I remember being sad. Remember when her show, like, ended? Yeah, but you didn't buy into that hype, did you? Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, Prisney. Oh, no. She wanted to get rid of the audience because it was costing her so much money. What? Yes. I didn't know that. Well, do you not know why Rosie O'Donnell lost her audience at the end when she was trying for that second no. recompense? It was what? because it was so expensive. See, Oprah no, ran no. that show. Yeah, she the ran Rosie O'Donnell. the whole thing. Oh, no. Rosie O'Donnell's. Yes, oh. it was in Oprah's building. Oh. Ah. See, how do you know all this? Honey, I'm not a gay man for no reason. <laughs> I'm just saying, saying. Okay, hook me up with a celebrity <laughs> gossip page you're We rating. should have a celebrity <laughs> gossip page, right? Maybe that can be a, another show of Mr. Mom's World Yeah, and then, then we can bring in different characters. Right? Like dishing about other characters. I could, introduce, I could interview <laughs> Cher or, or Dolly. Oh, yeah, there's another one, Dolly. <gasps> I'd sleep with her and become a straight man. Oh, I right. I girl crushed over Cause, Dolly because here, you know, she might be in her 70s, but I can tell you, with all the plastic surgery, everything's as tight as original. Oh yeah, factory but made. I I agree. <laughs> right, it's been, been tucked and pulled and pulled. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, and she wears those tight pants. She still looks amazing. Right. Can you imagine when she undresses, or you know, any share when, the when they undress? Up? Yeah, when <laughs> everything goes. But dum 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 dum. <laughs> Uh, did you see that beautiful documentary on Dolly on Netflix? No. I forget what it's called. I watched Everyone your series. Watching, uh, no, this isn't the series. It what, isn't. What was that she called? Has seven. Heart uh, strings or? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> but I heard there about was, it. It was good. Yeah. It was, it was you know, it, it was kind of hallmarky. Oh, yeah. 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 No, no. This, but this is, <coughs> this documentary is, you know, it's, oh, she, right you can tell that out. she, she produced this. Oh. Herself. Like, and then, you know, it's just basically how she got started. And, um, I'd like to meet the husband yeah. because I think there's something going on there. Well, he she, was pretty hot looking. I know, but she says like they're very tight. They're very in love, and it's been like what 50 years or something. Listen, her partner for Doll Sand Dollar, which was the big film company, uh, he was as gay as the day is long. You know what I mean? Who? Uh, what was it? Sandy. His name was Sandy something. Okay. Um, but their, their, their company was called Sand Dollar. Oh, okay. And um, I believe, this is my theory. Call me Dolly to make sure that this is correct or not. <laughs> I think that the husband and the Sandy guy, the partner, there were lovers. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Uh, that's my belief. Apparently he's very private. Yeah, and, well, you, know. you would be if you didn't want to get caught. Isn't that something like, what's his name? Uh, John Travolta? Right? Oh, I've heard that too. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was doing the massage therapist and the baby said, well, that's what they say. I don't know. I'm just starting know. the gossip. You know what? I but that's say... all we do is we start the gossip. We don't know if it's true. <laughs> I know. This is how things get spread around. Right? Never mind And COVID. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm hung like a horse. That's what I've heard. I'm just saying. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to tell Bonnie Henry that. Oh. Do you think she'd she be says. interested? No. Oh. No, but it's just I have an idea for something. Sorry. Oh. Right? We have to do a show. We do. Yeah, we gotta mm -hmm. get Miss 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 Bonnie in. Miss Bonnie. Miss Miss Henry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Um, what's I going to say? I don't know. Uh, no, I, I think this, this show, show is to totally digressed. I totally did. We're just <laughs> rambling on because this is my seventh cup of yes, tea with three teaspoons of that, sugar. That is loaded with vodka. <laughs> no, um, no, but yes. seriously. Yes. Let's entertainment world. Yes. My world, yeah. not Mr. Mom's world. That's correct. But kind of because we want to do another show together. We do. We want to do several shows yes. together. Yes. And it's looking like another year from now. Well, from our, from, from, uh, I have several higher up friends in the health yeah. board. And um, so, you know, we've kind of been told and they've been kind of told that not to be expecting anything full blown again until uh, probably December of 2021. Yeah. Now, you know, we've kind of put our head around that anyway. Mm -hmm. um, if it happens sooner, great. I think, I don't think from our perspective as a food service kind of industry, you're ever going to go back to normal. I think that there will always be a heightened sense I think of, so too. And which, which is good. I think so too, yeah. because yeah. you know, like before COVID, I was one of those paranoid people that, you know, was constantly washing my hands and like sterilizing yeah. them because I traveled a lot and I would get sick and I wouldn't be able to do my show or I'd have to perform my show through sickness, which was the worst because, you know, I don't sound that great. Right. Anyway, so um, I knock on wood, haven't had a cold or anything since all of this came out. And I think it's because everyone's being really careful and we're not spreading as many germs. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's super contagious and mm -hmm. people are still getting sick, but... Well, and I, yeah, I think, I, I, think, I think that COVID is, uh, you know, the, the, the downside of it is families still want to be families. That's the downside of yeah. it. And so they're still wanting to get together and they don't realize that, listen, you're not only putting yourself at risk and your family at risk, but now you're putting others in the community at risk, right? Yeah, which is, no, which isn't great. Because they're saying, well, we're, we've all seen it, yeah. but the contact tracing brings it back now to household yes. get-togethers yeah. only. Because everything's been, you know, closed, so that's all that's left. Mm, and mm. then they say that. Uh, Which is really said, nice, because listen, if Dr. Bonnie wants to come close my house, yeah, sweet Jesus, can I invite her in and have her close my house? Because I would love if I had to go live in a one-bedroom apartment by myself with my own bathroom. Color me COVID, like just <laughs> color me COVID, right? If I didn't have to cook one more meal at home or order, well, no, let me be order clear. Order one more order, pizza. If I didn't have to order one more pizza in, <laughs> I would be all over oh that. Oh, my God. I really would. So, yeah. you know. Hey, are the kids doing any of the cooking or are you still having to? My kids can't even look after themselves, let alone cook. No, you know what? They uh, can I boil have, an egg. They can boil an egg. Well, and not my dinner. oldest. She's in the, she's in the studio. Hmm. Mm -hmm. she <laughs> she's was, not making she, eye contact. She's not making eye contact. <laughs> she 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 did say at one point she couldn't boil water, but she's okay. she's she can cook. She doesn't cook. like to cook. Dead. Okay. Well, she yeah, she's just a different girl. She's uh, a businesswoman, more business yeah. on the end. She's but I have uh, you know, like my kids are interested in cooking because of I guess school, not because you know. I teach them anything, right? It's like, mm -hmm. uh, but no, they're, they're learning from uh, my, my son, who is now 19, is uh, wanting to be a total vegan. So oh. I said, listen, I'll do my damnedest for you. I'll help you out. But listen, like if it doesn't move, what do I need it for? You know what I mean? Like it better be. So, so he does a lot of his own cooking now. Well, we, he has we, to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we, so we try to find stuff for him because uh, he's, he's still going to school. But um, the others, yeah, they, they know where the microwave is. <laughs> You know, they figure know. that out. Yeah. Right? yeah. Pancakes. There's a lot of My nine year old can cook his own pancakes. That's the, right? And put his own toast down because he's living with autism. So, of course, that's all a curious thing. Mm -hmm. So, so the only challenge it. with that is we find, um, we find eggs in frying pans in the cupboard. Oh. We, we find uh, bread. Uh, in the oven with the oven not turned on because he's mm, trying he to forgets. make toast. No, he's, oh, he's, trying, he's, he's cooking stuff. We'll oh, find, uh, what did we find the other day? We found a tomato with um, potato salad that was in the fridge stacked on top of the tomato. He was making a salad. Oh, so <laughs> so he's, he's learning how to cook. I, I'm actually really curious about that. So yeah. the autism, you yeah. said you have two kids yes. with autism. Yeah. How do, the, is it easy or how difficult is it to tell what level they're at. You know what I mean? How the, what, where on the spectrum? Well, I, I don't think you ever could tell on the spectrum. Here's what I'm blessed with. Um, I'm blessed with two kids that aren't overly aggressive, which is 
you know, you, mm -hmm. when, when you first start reading about uh, mm -hmm. autism, mm -hmm. you hear that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm blessed with, you know, one is a little more, how shall we say, I won't say aggressive, but, but certainly, you know, irritable, irritable has, has some control issues, right? Mm -hmm. The other one is this loving kid that just wants to kiss on you and wow. hug you and, and uh, he's so sensitive of his heart. Um, so I'm blessed in that sense. Mm -hmm. Like I don't have, now again, they're still young and as autism yeah. will, has taught us, that could change and, and potentially does change in each kid, right? Um, but yeah, we're a pretty blessed family. I mean, all my kids that have come in with care suffer total anxiety issues, right? And so um, we started a nonprofit or we're, we're trying to get that off the ground, a nonprofit that deals with anxiety and how to deal with that. Um, yeah, it, it's, you know, when, you, when you've got challenges and, and those types of things, mm -hmm. it's, it's difficult, right? So. Do you, this is an interesting question, but okay, so a lot of the kids have anxiety. I, I suffer with anxiety yes. too, panic yep. disorder, whatever, my whole life, basically. Do you, Which is really funny, what? entertainer. I know. Right, yeah. Why, I mean, I, yeah. yeah, I know, it, yep. but it's, it's kind of like therapy for me. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Do you do things like just play the calming music or do you paint the walls a certain color? Do you go to any kind of... Uh, Lengths? Yes, that's the word. Yeah, do I mean... Do you create a space that lessens... Well, again, I don't... Yeah, I mean, and the, the, the challenge with that is anxiety. You never know what's going to trigger them. Yeah. You never know what that anxiety is. But as you said that, we do know that... Uh, for instance, in my little guy, that that music plays a huge role for him. Mm -hmm. uh, he likes that song by Headley, uh, "Lose Control." Loves it. We'll we'll totally just replay it and replay it and replay mm -hmm. it. Um, my other son, who is the more, if you will, aggressive one, is food. Everything is about food for him. He's only a starch kind of guy. Just recently, he's he's had his first taste of bacon. He's had his he first obsessed? blueberry. He's had his first strawberry, watermelon, just mm -hmm. recently. So those kinds of He's things are big. He's introducing like food himself. here and food yeah, there. Yeah. So uh, those are big successes for us, right? Yeah. But what about like, sugar? Apparently, is just horrible. Well, Do you try in to my keep sugar house, away? yeah. In my house, he drinks nothing but water because okay, of that. We don't do we don't yeah. do dyes. We don't do anything don't like do that. This tea. The other that this tea is a no no. But the <laughs> other one, because he can function. You know what I mean? He can function on a juice or uh, neither one of them drink. Well, my, my littlest one will drink milk before going to bed, but but none of my kids drink a whole lot of milk these days. They're not right? like snacky chocolate fiends? Mm, no, well, the, the more aggressive would like to be. Oh, and that would make him more aggressive? That would I'm be sure. more, yeah. So, oh. so again, it's, it's the fishy crackers that he gets. It's mm -hmm. still junky food, yeah. but it's the lesser of the evil. Yeah, totally. Right? Yeah. And what about Halloween? Do you guys do you have candy? Oh, yeah, we go out. Yeah, we go out for Halloween. This Halloween, again, COVID. Yeah. Uh, who knows what that's going to do. Um, listen. If I could take one kind of thing from my daughter who says she locks up the door and turns out the lights, <laughs> that's probably what I like to do um, because my, my Halloween days are, are behind over you? behind me. And, um, but my husband loves taking them out and loves going mm -hmm. for the walk, loves charging them his 10% candy fee, um, <laughs> all those kinds of things, right? Does he get first dibs? Okay, you're only allowed this much candy. Now let me just, don't nope, okay. take that out. <laughs> I have to tell you a story. Now all this right. is my 32 year old daughter. Now I don't know how many years ago it was in the house, but she was a married woman and, and on her own. And we were, it was Halloween and they were over. <clears throat> her and her husband. And the kids, I think they had come back from, from trick-or-treating. And of course, Daryl and I digging in the candy and she goes, well, what are you doing? And I said, well, we're taking our percentage. Stealing the candy? So then, I don't know, maybe it was a week later or whatever, they come over and I said, well, I'm just going to go get some candy or something out of the bedroom. And, and she had this horrified look on her face. And I told her that, you know, I, every day I took a handful of candy out of the kid's candy bag, right? Mm -hmm. And she, she was like, what? And then it dawned on her in that moment that we did it to her. Oh, and she said, I see the, how so, dare you, right? so betrayed. And I said, <laughs> I said, you don't honestly believe that as a, a responsible parent, 
that I was going to let you have all, eat that, all that candy when me as a diabetic needed to have some of that sugar fix to continue on my diabetes. I mean, let's face mm, facts. Exactly. So now, fast forward <laughs> a few couple of years, and I see her ripping into the kid's candy. Give me the bag! Give me the <laughs> right? <laughs> so full circle. History is repeating itself. It is repeating yeah, itself. So, I, it I mean, Halloween is fun time, but it's not something that I... I Enjoy. I like sitting at the. I like sitting at the door. I usually pull out my little fake fireplace, put it at the door. My little can, uh, bowl of candies. I have. I have. Um, I have uh, a blanket on me, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and I love. I love bugging the little kids. So can you sing? You know, like they used to in our day. Can you sing? I'm waiting for some two-year-old to say fuck you. Right? <laughs> I'm waiting for that. <laughs> Because that's what we used to do. We used to walk away from the house where they'd say, sing me a song. I and know, I'd go, like, ah, trick or treat, woman. Right? <laughs> yeah. So. I, I love Halloween. Yeah. I love it, yeah. I have, uh, have you seen pictures of my little neighbor, Eric? Yes, yes. Yeah. Cute as a bug. Oh, I saw God. a little video of him I the other day. I love him so much. He's totally my little buddy. But, um, so they're Chinese and they don't yes. celebrate a lot of things. And so you've started to corrupt oh, him. Oh, he's, yeah. Right. right? Oh, yeah. Okay. We've just been having a lot of fun. You know, he's, he came to our house for Christmas, uh, to Chilliwack, and we went ha to Halloween uh, trick-or-treating a couple yeah. years ago. And then we also went to the uh, Fright Nights. Anyways, I took him to the haunted house. He really wanted to go, but he was kind of scared, but trying to pretend like he yeah, wasn't scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the cutest thing. And I had like, as I love, you know, I'm like, let's get dressed up. You know, that's my thing. So we both got dressed up. We went down there. We went in the haunted house. And I had my cape over him, like holding him, because I could tell he was trying to be like all cool. But yeah, I yeah. could feel his, his heart little heart. Like, <laughs> I could just feel it pounding. That and I was holding me. him. I'm like, it's okay. We're laughing and screaming and laughing and screaming. It was, the, it was such a wonderful moment. And he's totally not into candy. Yeah. Like, oh. he collects all the candy, then he wants to give it away. Oh, good yeah. kid. Tell I him to give it to me. <laughs> yeah, well, no, he can give it to me. Um, I said, I'll keep you candy for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm that kind of, too. I'm, I'm like the big scaredy cat hiding behind something. We, went, we mm. took the kids on a tr the train ride at uh, Bear yeah. Creek Park, the Halloween home. Oh, Bear Creek? Yeah, Did Bear Creek, they have oh, one. Oh, I didn't know they had one there. Yeah. I thought, let me so it's Halloween. Okay. So, so as we're going along, you know, they have guys in the forest, and they'll put sticks in there, mm -hmm. in the train as you go by, right? Well, using my, my humor as a sense of fear mongering, I grabbed the guy's stick and I wouldn't let it go. So he was <laughs> running beside the train and just like, let it go, let it go. You were holding it. And I was like holding it, yeah. I thought, you bugger, you'll never try to scare me again. <laughs> but it was out of fear. Yeah, I, I worry that. about that too in haunted houses right? that someone's going to go right? punch someone in the face. I would be that person. Oh, man. I know. Uh -huh. I've, I've, I've come close because yeah. I'm like trying to protect myself. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I, I hope we can have some fun this Halloween. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And so just, you know, I know we don't have much time left, but I think. Um, I think people need to go and check you out. Uh, so, so tell people yeah. your website. Oh, sure. Check me out at uh, www.celebrity-imposters.com or just Google Bonnie Kilroe. B-O-N-N-I-E-K-I-L-R-O-E. Just Google that. All kinds of things comes up. You can see all the different characters and comedy. And we hope to get Bonnie Hammer here. And you guys won't be disappointed. I, can, I, I will make that a 128% guarantee. The show goes fast. The show that she brought here, the Diva Show, uh, it goes fast. Oh, yeah. I had people coming to me months later saying, oh, my God, when's your next show? Well, here we are with COVID. But, yeah. but I promise you when we can get operational again, we're going to do another show for sure. Can't yeah, wait. And absolutely. I want to change my show and bring some new things to it. So I got lots of time to work on that. Awesome. Well, thank All you right. for coming and hosting my show. Thank you. Awesome. Cheers yeah. Cheers to the team. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks so much.